right, so here he is, one of the greatest welterweights in UFC history, the Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman. Some criticized maybe his wrist mitigation late in that Leon Edwards fight, but this man is an offensive fighter. He's got every skill in the book, and uh, we'll see which ones he chooses to employ here tonight. It's crazy because when he came off the Ultimate Fighter, he was known as a bit boring. But him and Trevor Whitman have such a great partnership that they have developed a style that works for Kamaru, and it works at such an elite level. He got caught. How does he bounce back? This guy, his jab is tremendous. He can knock you out with it. His wrestling and his top control is second to none. Kamaru Usman possesses all the skills in the world. How does he implement those skills tonight when he steps inside the octagon? And one thing you never have to worry about, the output, the work ethic, one of the hardest workers in the room in the UFC, and he is at the height of motivation getting back on the proven ground tonight. enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. So here's the undisputed UFC lightweight champion and one of the very best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, Islam Makhachev. He trained alongside this man for years. He has every skill in the book. And the X factor tonight is that has Bruno in his corner. Yeah, that's one of his, his brothers is what they call him. Islam Makhachev, though, is the guy that really does strike fear in so many lightweights' minds. He's a guy that possesses wrestling ability. He's a guy that possesses striking ability. The grappling is second to none. And just his size and physicality is so difficult to deal with. He is a tremendous fighter, and he will be pushed even more forward with the presence of his good friend, Hasbulla. You do wonder, though, if the opposing corner is a little bit intimidated given Hasbulla's presence <laughs> in the Makashev corner. Islam Makashev is ready to go, and that means so are we for our main event. And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Islam Makachev. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Good. All right, early round action here. Kamal Usman's wrestling is next level. His MMA wrestling, super functional. But he believes that the jab is going to be the key here tonight. Obviously, he has gone to great lengths to develop that under Trevor Whitman. And he felt like he might actually be able to win this fight without securing a single takedown. We shall see. Well, that won't feel good in the morning. Big uppercut. Makashev gets the early takedown. Nice start to the round for him. Let's see what he can do. Close guard. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by Islam Makashev. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Oh, 
Well, submission attempt here. He's fighting. He wants his badly. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Three minutes. Oh, he got to his spot. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrift. You got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Well, not a guy you want on top of you. Ground and pound strikes piling up here. Good work by Islam Akasha. Now he's going full mount. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Yep, got to be very careful there. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Oh, he's got his back. Gotta get out of there. Big right hook there by the champ. Making all these shots count. Makashev's back in half guard, very comfortable here. Nice job by him to still be a threat off of his back. Five seconds remain in the round. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control right, the far side right. underhook. This Easy is a great breath. position for a top down. fighter. All right, you with me? Good. Beautiful round. You definitely won that round. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right. Round two. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to have too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Oh, it looks like he's setting up for a finish here. Ooh, arm triangles in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, he bails on the submission now. Makashev's right back to the full mount here. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. He's having his way with him here. Well, his grappling has been on point thus far, and don't think he's going to slow down. He can keep up this pace through the whole fight. Especially when he's on top, in the top position, where he's controlling the exchanges, controlling the transitions. He can do it with his eyes closed. This is something he's been doing since he was a young man. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. He's got to start throwing now. He Bottom needs fighter to better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Makashev's right back to the full mount. Uh, 
Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Nice shots landing from the top position. Another ground and pound strike gets home. <laughs> Ten minutes in the books. All right, sit down. Give me that mouthpiece. Breathe, relax. You're doing great, man. You're controlling him everywhere on the ground. You were close to submitting him a couple times there. All right, let's look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about just the efficiency when it comes to the ground and pound game? He was able to throw at the right time, secure at the right time. He wasted no action. For me, this is the most exciting type of fight. A guy that is just dominating his opponent, really, truly putting the grind on his opponent ready, from Frank? the top position. Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. How good is that jab by Islam Akasha? Nice hit, bro. Nice. Oh, the he has landed thus far Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. So, pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get him as often as you'd like, so when you get a guy hurt, you gotta find a way to finish the fight. Oh, that's a hip toss now. Well, he's more than content to... He's isolating an arm. Oh, he's got the arm bar deep. Oh, wow. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to alarm for himself to get subbed. Works. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Oh, the ground and pound is there. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Nice strike lands from the bottom. Usman's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. To Mount. Makhachev's in half goal. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Absolutely relentless when it comes to the ground and pound. Now working the body. Nice job by Kamaru Rusev. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Hard Hard Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Final seconds of round three. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style. Blocked. He gets denied. Blocked. Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. 
Now, his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight Ready is going. Fight. Ready. Good. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. The fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that stool. And this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Oh, big shots from the top. Nice shot there by the champ. Let's work, I'm gonna stand this up. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Usman's in half guard. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. Makashev's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fight. Makashev's looking for a Darce choke here. Oh, Darce choke locked and loaded. Oh, he got out. He got out and defended. John, I thought it was over. I thought it was done. It was so tight. It was deep. They were hip to hip. I thought the fight was done. Great job and awareness by this young man to defend that Darce choke. Usman's in half court. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Gonna do it. That's gotta be it. And there it is. He's got the the winner by submission. Oh, 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 my well, everybody in this arena still digesting this result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was gonna get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call the shot is always fun. He should be very proud. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. We go to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 22 seconds of round number 4. For the winner, by submission, and still, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Islam Bogachev. Right, so a lot of people like the challenger tonight, but it goes to the champion. Congratulations to the still UFC welterweight king. And going to take a big effort, I would think, to dethrone this guy. Yeah, he is just a great fighter. He does everything so well in the comp.